Hi Primpers. I love doing 21 looks in 21 days so much that I've decided to do a scale down version for Australian Fashion Week doing seven looks in seven days and pulling some of the key looks out of the big shows there and recreating them here for you. Um, so my first look is from Aurelio Costarella's show um, where they did a bright blue line underneath the eye and then this great kind of peachy apricot shade on top coming all the way down into the cheeks. So to start I've already prepped my face with foundation and concealer. And I'm just going to apply a white eyeliner to the fleshy part of my eyelid. So just under here, I've already popped a little bit on. What this does is it opens the eye right up, kind of giving you this fake wide awake eye look. So if you've had a big weekend or you're tired in the morning, maybe skip your black eyeliner and go for a white or even an icy blue one instead, um, just to kind of make your eyes look a little bit brighter. Next up, I've got this Revlon Matte. Um, eyeshadow in peach sorbet and it's just this really cute kind of pinky peach shade and I'm going to apply that over the entire eyelid because it's such an inoffensive color it's light it's matte there's nothing too crazy about this color you can be quite generous with it and take it all the way up above the contour there up above the crease Next up, I'm going to put a bright orange eyeshadow on, and I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown Brights palette. Check that out. That pretty much has every color eyeshadow you could ever dream of, and I'm going to use that orangey one right here. And I'm going to be really generous with it. Even though Bobbi Brown, their pigment her pigments are just amazing. It's such good quality stuff. You still want to use quite a bit of product here just to build up that color. You want it to be orange. You want it to make a statement that's what these runway looks are and even when you're recreating them and you're thinking oh god I don't know if I can go out on the street with bright orange eyeshadow you'd be surprised actually when the when the looks finished it is still quite wearable now what I am also going to do is take the color right out and kind of scoop it underneath because for the show it really blended into the blush quite a bit so I'm not going to be afraid to take it out quite far and just like blend it making sure both the eyes are even okay also for this show they wanted to make it look like you'd almost walk through a sprinkle of a shower of sparkles and so silver stardust almost was just sprinkled onto the face so I've got the Maybelline eye studio palette here and I'm going to use this darker silver color just on the outer edges and along my cheeks just kind of dusting it on it's really really subtle there's also a lighter color here which I might just pop up in to the inner corners and just blend it Okay, now for the fun bit. I'm going to apply the blue eyeliner or eyeshadow in a line underneath my eye. So they're in this palette. I'm going to use this palette again just because there's so many great colours. There's that bright blue right there. And all you do is use a bit, like quite a thin brush. Not too thin though because the line is substantially thick. It's not like it's a eye line for the top. You want it to be thick. You want it to be visible. And just apply it right under your lash line there. Build up the colour quite heavily. And just kind of blend it in on the sides because it didn't really go out too far. You want it to be soft. Just get that little bit in there. You want it to be soft. Okay, finish off the eyes with the black mascara. This is the Rimmel Sexy Curves. On the top and bottom lashes.
Now I've already got my scar on a little bit so this isn't brushing through quite as well as it probably should but it's always tough when you've got mascara underneath. Now for the cheeks. Zoe and I are obsessed with this pop tan pop palette. As you can see when I open it we've used it quite a bit but in it it's all these this side here is all eyeshadows and then in the middle there is cheeks and then on the other side it's eyeliners. But they have this great peachy kind of blush it's got a little bit of a hint of shimmer in it, which is perfect for this look. So pop it on a big fat brush like this and just really brush it into your cheeks. Working in circular motions, this is a really soft brush, but it's great for getting an even finish. Don't be afraid as well. It's not like this is a pink blush where you, you can't have it on your forehead or down the ridge of your nose. Just give yourself some color, some health. And also don't be afraid to take it right up to the temples. We've actually done another video on how to apply blush correctly. And by taking the colour all the way up to your temples, you give the illusion of a lifted face. So it's great if you're kind of ageing a little bit and you want to pretend that that's not happening. So now that that's done, finish off the look with a little bit of peachy nude lip gloss. Here I've got a new one from Max Factor and the shade is Pleasure Peach. So just apply colour and then the peachy gloss on top. There you have it. The makeup from Aurelio Costarelli Rivers.